for tuning in. I'm Ford Sakes. You're watching Profit Rich Marketing. Before the break, we talked about the content on your site and how important it is that it communicates value and attracts attention. Now let's look at secret number four, creating a list of your top 50 keywords. Now keywords help more site visitors find you and they help the search engines. Selecting the right keywords to emphasize on your site is crucial to your online success. Think about what your prospects would type into a search engine to find your solutions. Those are your keywords. When you search for something, sometimes you may search for a broad term with only one word. That's a keyword. Sometimes you search for a phrase that has multiple words like seafood restaurants in Dallas. That would be considered a keyword phrase. Your task is to think of the words that your prospects are searching for. Now, here's how, what I want you to do. I want you to create an Excel document or other list that you can use later when redesigning your site. You'll use these keywords when writing content, naming the actual HTML pages, like dallasseafood.html. You'll also use them in links on your site and help the search engines catalog your site so visitors can find you. Now as an action step, I want you to make a list of your top 50 keywords and keyword phrases. Actually, I think you should compile a list of several hundred keywords, but let's just start with getting a good list of at least 50. The number of keywords on your list are really dependent upon what you sell. If you have several, under, several hundred items, then obviously you're going to have a much bigger list. Now I want you to do your keyword research. I found four methods that work. The first method is you can use an online tool. Write this domain down, inventory.overture.com, and I'm going to spell it for you. Inventory, I'm not spelling it, overture is O-V-E-R-T-U-R-E.com or just go to any of your major search engines and type in Google's keyword tool. Now what you're going to find are free tools that can help you search for keywords. Another one of my favorites is Word Tracker. Now WordTracker.com, it's not free, but offers tools and training to master keyword research. All of these sites are excellent for helping you find broad and specific keywords that relate directly to your subject matter. Number two, ask your customers what words they'd use to find you, your products or your services. And number three, ask your sales teams what they think the keywords should be. Then I want you to look at your website's referrer logs. Those are your stats. Just ask your webmaster. They can help you. Now, Say you sell bicycles. Don't optimize for the single keyword bicycles. Of course, that's way too broad. Even road bicycles is too broad. Instead, look for words that reveal the searcher's intent to purchase, such as buy trek, trek bicycles, or bicycle store in Dallas, or narrow down even further, further like mountain bikes front suspension. Use those keyword phrases in online articles, specific web pages, HTML meta tags, and create unique page titles for every single page on your site. The page titles are the words that show up at the top edge of the browser. Just take a look at your homepage, see what it says. What does it say? Then look at other pages on your site. Each page on your site should have unique content with its specific purpose of that page. Secret number five, help the search engines find you. Optimize your site for search engines. Now, the search engine's job is to provide the best search results and the best user experience for their customers. Having compelling content on your site is the key. That, among other variables, helps the search engines catalog your site. Now I want you to go back and map out the content on your site. Look at the keyword list that you you're going to create and see if you used any of those keywords throughout the content on your site. Now okay, before we get too far off track, you don't want to jam as many keywords as you can into a page. Your content still has to be readable and in a conversational tone and style. 
I've seen people go overboard trying to get as many keywords as possible onto a page, and this actually creates more trouble for the site visitor, and the search engines are smart enough to know what you're doing, and your site could get banned, and that would not be a good thing. Now, another tip you can do is you can add a blog. It can be a great viral tool because the content's fresh and the search engines love them. Now here's a tip we've covered before, but I want you to write benefit descriptions, like find out how Ford Sakes can help your next event be a huge success, and not something like Ford's Pick. So when you name your graphics, make sure you name them something relevant. Use strong page titles with keywords from the previous secret. Write your meta tag descriptions, but don't stress over meta tags too much. They're not as important as they used to be. Another tip is use reciprocal keyword links. Those are links in and outside your site. Now there's a great place you can get some tools. I want you to write this down. Here it is. Visit google.com forward slash webmasters. You're going to get all kinds of great tools. Now we're getting ready for a break. After the break, we're going to cover secret number six, and you're going to learn how to build your online database. Stay tuned. You won't want to miss what's coming up next.